Mm, monkey. C. Monkey. R. No, but seriously, what exactly are sea monkeys? And I mean beyond them being brine shrimp. Also, my personal history with them, hence the beardlock format. Welcome to Peppers mm. Glowworms, a channel dedicated to hot chili peppers and coldly glowing glowworms. <coughs> 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 Are sea monkeys really special? Artemia Nios scrutinized. Part 1. Those are some sea monkeys. Or are they? Nope. I tricked you. I raised those brine shrimp from regular Artemia eggs. Technically, cysts would be a more informative term um, that are sold for fish feeding purposes. Among them could also be some offspring of older cysts from a youth microscope kit and maybe of some adult brine shrimp sold as fish food. It's a mix of potential sources really. But in any case, no official sea monkeys in there. However, I had some of those for quite some time not too long ago. And earlier in my childhood I had woodside krebse as a brine shrimp were more often marketed to kids in Germany where I grew up. So I have some connection to those peculiar little crustaceans and I want to share about this as well as discuss whether I really lost something special when my sea monkey culture finally stopped to produce any new larvae. A deception has traditionally been part of the sea monkey concept. Well, um, deception is actually too harsh a term. Maybe trickery and misdirection, as in uh, magical tricks, are better descriptors. Most people probably think of those ads with anthropomorphic creatures in them that may have caused quite some disappointment. Then there is also the thing about the water purifier that actually already contains eggs, while the egg sachet adds some dye that makes the already hatched baby brine shrimp suddenly more visible by adding contrast. The background story about the inventor of sea monkeys is also quite fascinating, but I am not going to delve into that here. The video regarding this by Great Big Story did a much better job at that than I ever could do anyway. Check it out, it's linked in the description if it does not pop up in the corner right now. Uh, I'd better tell you my personal story regarding sea monkeys here. Although I think I have some vague memories of sea monkey ads from my childhood, at that time it was all about Urzeitkrebse, something like primeval shrimp in the translation to English, uh, which were offered in little science kits from a popular brand and as a gimmick that was added to comics. Not just as a form to order them, but the actual eggs and stuff directly with the magazine. So when I stumbled upon some actual sea monkeys years later as an adult in a real store for the first time, I just had to buy them. And so on April 27th of the year 2012, I acquired an official Ocean Zoo kit at the gift shop of the Science Museum in London, UK. When transporting the kit back to Germany, there was a funny little incident at airport customs. I thought I might get accused of animal smuggling, but I wasn't. The customs officer tossed the Ocean Zoo kit unceremoniously aside. Did you know that yeast extract food spread counts as a liquid? Keep that in mind when you taste test it and throw it in your bag in disgust. Yuck! By the way, uh, by now I seriously love that stuff. Yum! It's an acquired taste, I guess. I started my first official sea monkey culture with the beginning of May 2012. Previously I heard about sea monkeys being a special strain of Artemia. The materials included in the kit seemed to confirm this. Let's have a closer look. Among the legal disclaimers, Artemia Nios, Nios is an acronym for New York Ocean Science Laboratory, 
the birthplace of hybrid sea monkeys. And furthermore, under the origin of sea monkeys, after explaining a bit about cryptobiosis, and the thick-shelled eggs of some crustaceans such as Daphnia, sea shrimps, Ostracoda, and brine shrimp, Artemia salina. Sea monkeys too belong in this category, since they are a hybrid of Artemia. We will get back to this later in the video. Now that ocean zoo is cute and all, but a bit small in my opinion. So I soon switched to bigger containers. 2013 was still a good year for my sea monkeys and I even have some video footage from that time. A few years later, in 2015, the culture was still going and I tried to start some offshoot colonies. However, this hatching larva from 2017 was the last sign of life from my sea monkeys that I noticed. The cultures had declined and I had some of them dry out in hopes to restart them later, but uh, there simply were not enough eggs in the culture to regrow the population and no more adults left to lay eggs. All that is left of them now are some sad salt crystal incrustations. But did I really lose anything significant here? Most sources seem to accept that sea monkeys are a separate strain of brine shrimp. Well, official sea monkeys, that is. There was that whole legal business about knockoff sea monkeys, so to speak. You should read a wonderful article by Jack Hitt in the New York Times magazine, or you can even listen to an audio version, link in the description etc. Long story short, the three little sachets had to be from Transcience Corporation to be the real deal. Like in my Ocean Zoo kit. See? Made in China and the USA, pouches made in USA. And on the actual pouches? Copyright 2010. Transcience Corporation, made and printed in the USA. The little tank, however, is made in China, with manufactured by Big Time Toys LLC and imported by Character Options LTD. After the legal stuff apparently settled, it seems that Dragoneye Toys LTD has somewhat recently taken the place of Big Time Toys LLC with a Bandai UK as a distributor. However, it seems the sachets still come directly from Transcience, now LLC. If anyone has those new kits, I'd love to hear more details. Anyway, my interest here is not the tank or the other parts of the kit, but the enclosed organism, the sea monkeys, the self-proclaimed Artemia Nios. As we have seen earlier, the materials of the kit call Artemia Nios a hybrid of Artemia that was born at the New York Ocean Science Laboratory. The official sea monkey website goes into more detail. Super sea monkeys. By then, Harold von Braunhut, the inventor of sea monkeys, who had been left out of toy showrooms with his crazy sea monkeys idea was doing well with his comic book marketing, but he was still having a little trouble with the sea monkeys longevity. It was rare that the little fellas lived to see the end of their first month and consumers were getting frustrated. Harold wanted to create super sea monkeys out of the brine shrimp, whose eggs can lie dormant in salt flats with the spark of life intact awaiting the right conditions. Teaming up with marine biologist Anthony D'Agostino at the New York Ocean Science Laboratory in Montauk, Harold mastered the instant life process and created super sea monkeys, Artemia nios. Out of the common brine shrimp, Artemia salina, two refinements in 1970 and then again in 1995, 
resulted in larger and hardier sea monkeys that can live up to two years. A patent pertaining to the sea monkey formula was filed by van Braunhut on November 12th in 1970. Could this have been the first refinement? Well, uh, the recipe within calls for a quantity of dried eggs of Artemia salina type or the like. The patent makes no mention of Artemia nios or any hybridization attempts. I found nothing matching the second refinement so far. Now let's finally delve deeper into what Artemia nios might be, or rather if they are at all. Whenever I see the nature of Artemia nios discussed, the issue is almost always whether they are really more robust and long-lived than regular brine shrimp. The hybrid nature of them is also sometimes questioned, with the suspicion of them simply being a different, less commonly available species. But so far, I have never encountered any doubt that they are really a distinct biological strain. Even the center of post-natural history, Pittsburgh, seems to consider them as a truly separate breeding line, with Richard Pell stating about those knockoff sea monkeys. <coughs> The new ones come from China and they are technically not sea monkeys, because they do not come from that original culture developed by Harold and Dr. D'Agostino. Personally, I really want to believe that all official sea monkeys are descendants of a founder population from back then, or even from the second refinement in 1995. But unfortunately, I find that rather unlikely. You see, it is not at all a trivial thing to keep a captive bred population of brine shrimp going for that long, let alone while regularly harvesting eggs for sale from them. While maintaining a stock is difficult enough, one would also have to induce the animals to produce the right type of durable egg. When conditions are nice, they just give live birth by having soft-shelled eggs hatch immediately. Those are useless for the production of instant life kits. To my knowledge, most of the commercially traded Artemia eggs are harvested from nature. You can farm them, but uh, to do that in a larger and sustainable way, you need at least ponds or some aquaculture setup. From what little I could gather about Trend Science's staff size and facilities, I do not see them pull that off by themselves. But I would have to look more into it to be sure. Wow, this is getting way longer than I planned and I just keep rambling on. Hmm. I better see I get to my point. And maybe do a second part in the future, assuming I actually learn more about this topic. The conclusions of my investigation so far. 1. Artemia nios is not an official species. Duh. There are multiple species recognized in the genus Artemia and it is somewhat difficult, taxonomically speaking. What with uh, pathogenic strains and varying chromosome numbers. Hmm. However, Artemia nios was never described as a species according to the rules of zoological nomenclature. I'm pretty sure the capitalization of nios uh, would even be a violation of those formal rules. You don't do that to the species epithet. Also, the term Artemia nios very rarely appears in scientific papers. If it does, it's only a side note and the actual topic is something completely different, for example, microbiology. 2. Artemia nios is very likely not a biological hybrid. I think it is rather unlikely that Artemia nios is a hybrid in the biological sense. There have been studies involving crossbreeding of Artemia, so it is not impossible, but interestingly, the claim of sea monkeys being some kind of hybrid seems to have disappeared in recent official materials. The official online handbook lacks the term hybrid and even nios completely. I found the claim of hybrid nature still in court documents and those knockoff sea monkeys were boasted on their kits as being specially bred hybrids as well, according to the article by HIT. I am also fairly certain that F1 hybrids are basically impossible to be commercially viable. Imagine 
raising two different parent strains, separating the sexes before majority and putting males and females of opposite strains together before finally harvesting the eggs. That is way too tedious to be logistically feasible. A stabilized strain going back to a cross in the past, um, therefore fx hybrids with x uh, being much higher than 1, would be more likely but 3. Artemia Nios is probably not even a separate strain. You would imagine that a strain of Artemia specifically created to be long-lived, or at least resulting in especially stable cultures, would be useful for scientific purposes. But alas, as I mentioned, they are almost absent from scientific literature. The highlight was probably a kit of them going into orbit with some astronauts. And as I mentioned, uh, I doubt that a comparatively small company would be capable to keep a specific strain of Artemia going, let alone while continuously harvesting eggs for sale. But it appears that Harold von Braunhut and Dr. D'Agostino really did something regarding sea monkeys. Unfortunately, Jack Hitt could not interview Dr. D'Agostino back in 2017, and in the meantime, this alleged co-creator of Artemia Nios has passed away, sadly. 4. So far, I like to consider Artemia Nios as a hybrid of a different kind. Namely, a hybrid of the natural phenomenon of cryptobiosis and an artificial framework to enhance and illustrate it for edutainment purposes. This is what I think Dr. D'Agostino and Harold von Braunhut developed. A method to show the almost instant life aspect of the life cycle of brine shrimps and to produce long-running robust colonies suitable to be cared for by children. It is a bit of mental gymnastics to call that hybrid, but my weird brain can justify it. Anyway, they succeeded, for me at least. I never had a brine shrimp culture that ran this long, although I can't really tell if the lifespan of individuals was much longer than usual. And I had much fun being a pathetic man-child. Part of optimizing the sea monkey method may have been to find the best source of Artemia stock for the purpose of putting together sea monkey kits. That would mean that although Artemia Nios is not a separate strain, all Artemia Nios might be of a certain strain that is also available outside the context of sea monkeys. Perhaps someone nerdy enough to watch up uh, to this point has more information about the New York Ocean Science Laboratory. I found very little material about it in general. This would be a good starting point to delve deeper though. I would love to know the source of X in the official sea monkey sachets. But uh, perhaps the mystery is even part of the fun and uh, no more of the magician's little tricks should be revealed. However, it would be a lie if I said that I would not totally geek out should the YouTube channel of Harold von Braunhut's widow, Yolanda von Braunhut, one day show a tour of the Sea Monkey Egg production site. Especially if it were not some box standard Great Lake strain, but something more special. Anyway, those are my current thoughts on Artemia Nios. Now I gotta finish this jar of antipasti and turn it into the new home of my non-sea monkey brine shrimp culture.